Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 577th Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure of Nuts. Uh, insert inappropriate joke and or laugh track here. Anyway, this is a game based off of the Ice Age franchise. It is a collect-a-thon platformer with a bit of with a little bit of combat where you play as Scrat, the whatever he is. I don't know if he's supposed to be a squirrel or what. Uh, because I'm not big into the Ice Age movies. I think I've only ever seen, like, the first one, so I know, like, very little about that series. So the Platinum Trophy is pretty easy, despite this deceptively low percentage on PlayStation, because, I mean, it's meant to be a kid's game, so it's probably being played by kids. And it does have quite a few collectibles that might turn away, like, children from playing it. I will say, though, uh, this game is really, really bad. The controls are very unresponsive, and the game is very, very buggy. There are times where you'll just fall through the floor. That happened a couple of times. There'll be times where you don't jump to ledges like you're supposed to. There'll be times where your double jump just doesn't work at all. I mean, I guess some of that could be the older console and all, but I think that most of it is probably just the fact that it's a cheap cash grab kids game. But the Platinum Trophy is still pretty easy. It takes around, I'd say about eight hours probably a gameplay to get if you follow a guide for the collectibles. So you're going to get a bunch of trophies here just by completing the main story. So actually, yeah, everything through this gold trophy is going to come naturally by completing the main story. So those are all unmissable. Uh, collecting shards, these are the little purplish things or pink things, like the crystals that you can find throughout the world. You have to collect a total of 5,000. Once you've collected 5,000, you don't need to collect any more. Uh, you'll unlock all your additional heart chunks by collecting 5,000 shards, so your health levels up along with collecting the shards, so there is an incentive to do so. Uh, then you have to collect all of the tablet pieces. There are... I want to say about 80 of them. It's either 60 or 80 of them because there's four per each of the normal like 16 levels and 16 in the main area. So it's 80 total tablet pieces. They're usually, some of them are fairly well hidden in this game. Like I honestly think that with the collectibles in this game, I honestly think that they just kind of threw stuff at the wall and just like, just wanted to see what would stick and what would actually be gettable because some of these things are in really really weird obscure places because the game's fairly linear overall but some of these things are just in really bizarre places that are very out of reach if you don't have a collectible guide uh you have to find all the statues there's a total of 20 one in each of the 16 main levels and four in the hub world because there is a hub world area the tree or whatever it's called uh, you have to kill every enemy in a single level without dying, which is... It's easy, except for the fact that the controls can screw you over, and you, you really, your only threat of death in this game is falling because of either a glitch or the controls not working right, or just the game just not functioning how it's supposed to. So that's really your only threat there. You have to smash a total of 500 shard crates. This one took me until fairly late in the game, like the fourth of the, like, four sets of levels. Because it's basically like the game branches out into four different areas from the hub world, and each of those four areas has four levels. So I think it took me until like the fourth area to get this one. Uh, sneak past a sleeping wolf. You're supposed to do this actually naturally early on in like the third area, I believe it was. You just hold L1 to sneak past it. Uh, you can also try to run past them because it'll insta-kill you, but you are supposed to sneak. You also have to get a Guanlong to investigate a sound that's like a dinosaur, so just get near it and wake it up and it'll go investigate. Spin kick any flying insect. There are lots of flying enemies throughout the game, so just spin kick one of them. Very easy. Uh, get bitten by a piranha is very easy. Just anytime there are piranhas, let one eat you by jumping into its jaws. Uh, hit a flying enemy with a rock. That's very easy. That's just the L2 attack, L2, R2 attack. Uh, carry power cores 100 meters is unmissable. Telekinesis 10 times is unmissable. Uh, get rescued by the Scratazons. I think that this happens if you jump out of the water or something. Like if you die from touching the water, they revive you or just like jumping back up. Survive getting burned by the lava. You have to touch the lava and then jump back up to a ledge. That's very easy. Uh, complete any level without dying. Again, pretty easy as long as you don't get screwed over by the controls. Uh, this is a story-related trophy. This is going to come 
throughout beating the story. And then this one, three enemies within 10 seconds. It can be a little bit tricky. I suggest doing it against the ground-based enemies. That's definitely the easiest way to do it. So, let me go ahead and sync up my trophies. Level 760, 85%, 22,316 total trophies, 577 platinums, 3,535 golds, 5,995 silvers, 12,209 bronzes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you for the next one.